from Loitering in Wonderland Studios. <laughs> Phoenix West. Hello citizens, I'm Phoenix West. Welcome to Things That Will Burn in Hell. Today's episode was a weird experiment I did on MySpace, because that's where this book was originally written. This book right here, 100 Things That Will Burn in Hell, now on sale. So anyway, I did a social experiment on uh, MySpace, like I mentioned. I was making fun of shitty poetry and how easy it was. It's not so much happening anymore. This is during the whole emo movement, which is why there's an emo section here later on. Spoiler alert. But anyway, there was a lot of bad poetry being produced on MySpace. People were writing their own, making little pictures out of it, making uh, their little notes, whatever the fuck they were called on MySpace. I forget. the, the All the language is gone from MySpace. I remember blaring emo music a lot on MySpace uh, when you didn't know your speakers were on at 3 in the morning, when you're trying to creep out on a girl. I remember that a lot. Oh yeah, remember that. So do my neighbors. Anyway, there's a lot of shitty poetry. I decided to start writing some of this poetry to see how difficult it was to prove to people that they're really not talented at poetry. So I sent out requests. I said, send me your stupid words, whatever words you want, and I will make it into a shitty poem, a poem. The original articles on MySpace contain the names of the people who sent me the list, but I've since deleted them, so I have no goddamn idea who sent these, but. Number six, shitty poetry. If you're gonna write a poem, then it should be at least one of three things. Number one, funny. Number two, ironic. Number three, coherent. Always shoot for number three. And if my poems end, it's coherent and neither funny nor ironic, then it belongs in the trash. I'm sick of reading poems about flowers and nature. Nobody cares if your life is as pretty as a rose. Nobody cares if there are clouds in the sky. We all fucking know that already. Quit sending me this dribble. These poems usually contain the following words. Sun, sky, thunder, smile, warm, free, wonderful, life, happy, bless. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to randomly throw these words together in some shitty poem about nothing special. Dear sun in the sky, bless me with your wonderful warm rays. May they make me happy so that I may smile. Throughout my life, shield me from the thunder so that I may be free. See, nothing creative or important there. I honestly did compile the list of words first and then made a poem out of them. These poems are usually prefaced with a quote from the Bible or a guilt trip saying that I must repost this or I do not love Jesus. Apparently my faith is threatened because some bitch wrote some shitty poem that she wants her friends to read. Selfish bitch. Also, I used to receive a lot of poems that are from pseudo-intellectual art students. They usually contain some sort of combination of these negative words. Die. Lost. Pain. Sorrow. Spew. Kill. Sex. Cry. Hate. Forgotten. Nobody. Fear. Lust. Greed. Satan. Shadows, angels. These poems are always way too long and nobody ever finishes them. If you read from start to finish, there's usually a few lines that you skim through without reading all the words. They're usually more broken up and not centered, but rather stay to one side because being symmetrical is so not art anymore. Here's my poem. I cry out of fear that I will die. The shadows cover me as I kill my mind. Spew my thoughts on the floor. Nobody will be forgotten from Satan's lust for pain. Angels fall all the same. Perhaps I lost the will, sorrow replaced the hate, my greed for sex becomes my bane. That's seriously one I wrote in 30 seconds based on that list. I cut this one short out of fear that it might become good. Accidents happen. And I think I proved my point that poems can look pretty and contain lots of beautiful or harsh words, but really have zero to say and less meaning behind them. Some of the second poem's lines aren't all that bad, but since they have no meaning, then why bother writing them? Keep your shitty poems to yourself. If you have poems about midgets or the meaning of life, then send them my way. Especially if the poem states that midgets are the meaning of life. So this is the, the first list I got from a response on MySpace for the, with the words here. I'm going to read them off and then read the poem I came up with in, in less than a minute. Wrist, blood, black, father, tears, darkness, hair, love, heart, broken, knife, bullet, hate, silence, razor, lost, break, vanished, fire, devil. Well, here's your poem, and I think I proved my point with this one. The bullet leaves my father's love broken, like a knife cutting a wrist or a razor dripping blood. Silence says the devil's hate breaks my heart until it bleeds black tears into the darkness. Past the vanished fire, my body will break and die. Lost hair, no pain. Emo poems suck. Just for the record, the score is Emo Poem Zero, Phoenix Two. I've once again been challenged. I've gotten the following list of comical words that I now have to turn into a shitty, morbid emo poem. Condom, transvestite hooker, love, money, wife, shoes, shame, epiphany, pinky, 
Outlaw, Grave, Regular, Fired, Erectile Dysfunction, or Limp Dick. You be the judge. That was the list I got. Okay, here goes. Shame is my wife. Money is a condom. In this transvestite hooker type life I live. Erectile dysfunction of my soul. The grave epiphany I face. I fired my love. Regret living in my shoes. Another regular outlaw with my pinky in the mud. Emo poem zero, Phoenix three. I think I proved my point. Poems that are written with just emotions and words, buzzwords, are not deep. Come up with a story first, write a poem about that. Trust me, it's coming from the guy who's written two books on poetry, and I don't even like poetry. It's just something I did just to pass the time. And why the hell not? I felt like a good idea at the time. Why not? I don't know, I don't have a reason. I just think poetry is a shitty way to really communicate your feelings unless you are sending it directly to the person that you are writing it for. If you're not, I don't want to read your poem. Don't want to read your shitty fucking poem, guys. Don't post that shit online. Do not at all. If you're seriously going to consider that your career and move forward with it, that's fine. If you're just putting your pinky in the mud like this guy here in this poem, don't fucking do it. Don't don't wallow in that in that shitty poem world. Don't even try. Don't seriously don't. It's not nobody's going to want to read it. Nobody. They're always too long. I cut these ones short. The ones I receive or the ones I read from you guys are always way too long. Way too long. And I write a lot of long poems, but I put them in my books. I don't post my poems online. You can buy the books online. Head on over to liwstudios.com. Blood is what drives you to go to liwstudios.com in the darkness. Hate is what I feel for you if you don't buy one of our books on there. Or subscribe and rate and review our shows on iTunes. Uh, Death is what I wish upon you if you don't. Uh, Go to youtube.com slash loitering in wonderland. Fear is what I have. Based that nobody will like my shows. (laughs) So citizens, until next time, in the meantime, I'm Phoenix West. See you in hell, citizens. This transvestite hooker type life I live. I think you